In this video, I joined the Dona SMP, a public SMP that is also an anarchy. This required me to get far away from spawn, and I'd have to strengthen bonds with some of my friends who were also going to join the server. If you want to find out more, keep watching. When you first join, you get 20 minutes of invincibility, so I was going to use this to its fullest. I started traversing the nether and attempting to get a, as far away from spawn as possible. Lots of portals I went through actually ended up in ocean biomes, so I had to be careful not to drown. This was a big obstacle for me because I had to find some kind of forest biome fast before my invincibility ran out. I had been worried about not getting any wood, but I suddenly realized that in the new nether update there was wood. So I started mining crimson trees and got my first set of wood tools. After a while, I found a cave. This would be the cave system that would ultimately allow me to actually su have success on this SMP. After a while, I had gathered enough iron for a full iron armor set. This was around the time where my friends got notice of the server and they started to join. This made it a whole lot more fun and much more chaotic. Around this time, I discovered the auction house and attempted to make some money. I didn't end up making very much, but I made enough for me to be happy. I find all right, a fine seasonality. I see how it is. Trying to go to you though, so like sixty-nine boba. <laughs> now that my friends were on the server, I'd have to go find them. I would have to spend the next hour searching for all of them and traveling tens of thousands of blocks. Oh, ten thousand. Negative thousand. Negative. Where are, even are you? Can you tell me your card so I can get to your direction? Okay. I started heading in Seasonality and Soup CPS's direction. They were like 10,000 blocks away from me, so I was trying to find a nether portal and fast so I could nether travel to them. Finally, after a while of searching, I found a nether portal. This would allow me to get to their location much faster. There's a full iron guy coming here. Yo. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, we're all together. We're all together. Okay. Where's Jard? We should we should pick up Jard. After getting reunited and giving each other some items, we went to pick up Jard. Jard was the next friend that we were going to add to our group. We also found this random guy. Uh, that we were planning to kill, but he escaped from us while we were traversing the nether. Direction. All right, boys. Do you think we can make it to Jard? We have to go in that direction. Yeah, just keep going, okay, guys. Just follow me. Follow. Where the frick are you guys going? What are you gonna do? Call your parents? You don't have any. Your legit, your mom. Oh my god, where are you go? Oh my god, Austin. You're so bad. I like kids. I also decided to get my hands on some better gear from the auction house.
After a while, we finally found George. So now almost everybody was together again. This meant that we could start working on our base. Jardy, yo. What's up? Do not punch Jard up. Uh, no. All right, we're all together, boys. Yo. All right, okay, guys. Who's next? Who should we find next? Who should we find? We couldn't really tell who to go for next since we were between Mr. Pink and Carter. So we just decided to explore the area that Jard had mapped out and possibly make it our own base. Because we're so smart, half the group got separated, so we were forced to wait at the giant S. When everyone was just about to come back, something interesting happened. Oh, there they are. All right. Wait, there's someone random. Wait, Jard, are, are they? I see them. I see them. They attacked you? Up on him. Oh, yeah, let's all team up on him. Yeah, you thought, bro. You thought he thought he could deal with us. Bro, he thought he could team up with us. He, t he thought he could get us, bro. Bro, get him. Yo, <laughs> I have a boat. I'm going in, buddy boy. Oh, oh god. I just got, I just got locked in it. I see him. I'm, I'm on a sail. I'm on a sail. Yes. Oh, oh, Austin's getting the crits. Yo. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's split. Split up the loot. Split up the loot. Okay. Split up the loot. After that event, Jard had to log off. So we decided that we were going to go off and make our own adventures before a catastrophe happened. Soup CBS was lagging, and there's a mechanic in this game if someone hits you and if you log out, then you die because it doesn't want people to quit exactly when they see someone. And I hit him, and he, his game crashed, which means he died. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. And you died because I hit you. No. With this loss, we decided that we were going to wait two more days before we played again so that Soup CPS could have a chance to respawn. In the end, we decided to do a little bit more exploring and then log off. This was the end of the first part of our adventure on the Donut SMP. If you like this video, then I'll probably upload more. And I'm sorry that I haven't actually posted content in like the past four months. It's probably because school has been taking up lots of my time and I just don't know what to upload anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.